<laughs> Actually, there are slides underneath there. <laughs>
feelings. We have here today, with extraordinary pleasure, a man of little leisure. He comes from Channel 46, and he's going to do a special mix, and with your permission, he will take us. Ooh, as long as he doesn't break us. <laughs> so, what's your pleasure Where's your mom? with this treasure? Should we now let him get our faces, or reduce Santa Cruz to another of its disgraces? <laughs> Do you think we should, we should boo him or halloo him? What's your pleasure? I don't think that's nearly encouraging enough, my dear. If you want him to do his best, you've got to make a much better noise than that. Come on. Okay, on you go, my dear fellow, but we haven't really started. We're only just assembling the sprouts of ugly headed monsters. Can I sit? Yes! Go for it! No! Yes, yes! Well, let me know, I can't hear. Go then, go then! No, I'm there. There's nothing there. Hey, nothing there. Shall I sit? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Am I there? No. Yes, happening.
that out. Did this? Did you check to see if there they would reach any further?
sides of it. The other side.
guys keep coming.
a good one. Come along. Come along. Here we are. And the next, and the next, 
and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next. Come on. Yeah.
Very good. Very good. How do you do? Very good and the That's pretty good. You join the group. Anybody else? Their hair, 
you know, various religious orders told you you could never cut your hair. And they have the Sikhs in India have hair clear down, trailing on the ground. They have to wind it up, and they can never cut a strand of it. And other religious orders have said they had to shave their heads entirely. It's always something. It's a dissatisfaction, profound dissatisfaction with what we are. And it's, in a way, it's perfectly understandable. Uh, but in, there's another aspect to it, which is that we all love ourselves. We all are delighted by ourselves and love ourselves. And have the greatest uh, uh, delight, I suppose, for many people. Uh, there's nothing else that they like as much. So it's a very, uh, it's always this continual difficulty. And the mask does something to overcome that or to make it uh, agreeable or harmonize it in some way. Because masks either absolutely uh, prevent you from knowing who the person is or knowing anything about them. They can take on a huge mask so that a, ba a mask uh, covers their whole body. And uh, in some primitive societies, that's true. There would be a, a ten-foot mask covering their whole, whole body, nothing but a face. And it, what it does, you see, is really totally alter and change the person and make them unrecognizable and therefore able to do all kinds of things which they couldn't do in a recognized state. And the, the other thing which uh, a mask can do is reveal yourself. Now, I would, I would wager that when there isn't a very strong tradition or something which you care very deeply about that is not yourself, most of the masks you will find reveal yourself. And it's something which uh, you can, you should all take your masks home, hang them on the wall, contemplate them regularly for 10 minutes every day. And that'll save you as many trips to the psychiatrist and uh, in general prolong your life and happiness. So you will find out something about yourself, maybe something that you didn't know really, uh, that made you make that mask and made you want to take on that persona, made you want to disguise yourself in that way, or reveal yourself in that way. So they are, it's a serious, serious thing, as anything which has occupied the human race for as long as it's existed. You can imagine that it has a very deep and serious aspect to it, couldn't possibly not have it. So all of you, by, by joining in this ceremony, have been able to uh, really to take a part in the, in the great stream of human experience and one of the most fascinating, one of the most mocking and strange of all the things that human beings do. So I'm happy to see you and I hope that you'll uh, keep thinking about what it is that you wanted to be or what it is you wanted to reveal that you made uh, the kind of a mask that you made. Some of you, of course, simply reveal that you have no particular thing to do. You have nothing, you don't either care about your inside or your outside. So you just uh, may do with a paper sack or something. And that, however, is more admirable than not doing anything at all. Because it's an opportunity, really, to expose yourself, to conceal yourself. And to do it in an interesting or extraordinary way, and some of us have. Uh, so thank you very much. Now let's judge the folks. Yes, we're judging. Just walk around, just walk around a bit. Yes. Just walk around a bit. Just walk around a bit. Just run my friend Mary. Mm -hmm. But I like yes, this crowd. Mm -hmm. I like this crowd. I like this crowd. Now then. I like this crowd. I really can't do this crowd. Okay, just get back, stand back, hold back, I don't think we'll do that. Stand back, 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 Yeah, yeah, these are, these are.
this is a nice spot, isn't it? Yes? Now, nah, this one, Tiger Lady has to, I mean, I thought it was Tiger Lady, I thought it was Tiger Lady. And then I, now I'm going to do it in a completely different way.
Applause for this one. Applause for this one. Okay, my dear. It's my happy pleasure to present to you. Touch and enjoy the lovely book. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I just have to tell you that I am, as usual, enchanted by your masking. Our revels now are ended, and on Monday we return to full and proper seriousness of the university. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> 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 I came in with 